Now I am testing the double power supply. Two transformers here. AC out. Fuses here. Each transformer has its own uh, lamp at the output. It's a 21 watt 12 volt lamp. So these transformers will get quite hot, extremely hot, because they are wall transformers, not made for critical purposes, etc. etc. But when you want to use a wall transformer, this is a good idea. Mount that wall transformer here um, with a bolt or some piece of metal so that the core is not directly connected to the ground plate. So there is a kind of ventilation that's very very important. All these wall transformers get by their nature very very hot. But to uh, solve that in a certain way mount them here for instance uh, with a kind of distance between the ground plate and the core of that uh, transformer that's very important especially on the longer term on the longer term uh, these wall transformers can easily burn out due to heat. The heat will say uh, uh, deteriorate everything inside that transformer and when you mount them in this way they are in a certain way kind of ventilated. I'm testing now both transformers with a 21, uh, 21 watt 12 volt automotive lamp and that's the best test. It's a kind of super stress test. In normal situations when you use this uh, these transformers in a double power supply it will never get so high but anyway it's a kind of stress test and it's a good test especially on the longer term to test the transformers that you have bought anyway could be two transformers or one transformer with a say middle tap uh, that and they are, that's also usable for a double power supply. Anyway, here are the fuses for the primary. The wall transformer has a kind of bad property that it takes a quite high current when it is switched on. So that's the reason why I use here fuses but in fact every transformer has uh, the same property. So when you have for instance a, a 35 volt AC transformer that's driven on the primary by uh, 110 volts or 230 volts there is a quite high inrush current and these fuses of course don't have to uh, must not pop out when uh, such a transformer has a kind of inrush current and my experience was for instance with these kinds of transformers that a 3 ampere fuse works properly Anyway, 
testing one transformer and the other transformer and this is the whole circuit it's of course not very new it's in fact completely classic but anyway it works and it shows the properties of a transformer in a test situation.